Today on Al's Anime Review is X. If you haven't heard of X, then you are sad, sad monkey. Please go take yourself in your own woodshed and proceed to beat yourself severely with the nearest blunt object you can find. X is done by Clamp, and much like how Ubisoft can do no wrong besides Haze, Clamp can do no wrong besides the Chobits anime. X is definitely a classic, and at the time it came out, it was a huge envelope pusher. The show had a great idea. Getting a bunch of usual main character archetypes and using them as side characters only to introduce a new character type that would become a staple from that point on. X may not have been the first to use the reluctant emo hero, but they define what he was supposed to be. The story is about this kind of battle between the dragons of earth and the dragons of heaven, and how they are fighting for the fate of the world. Will we all be destroyed and the world left to its own devices, or will we win out and continue to pollute the earth and killing trees? You know, all that animal-hugging garbage we have been fed since Captain Planet talked to us about AIDS. But the environmental lesson really doesn't matter. No, what matters here is the fucking action sequences. And yes, you must say fucking in front of these fucking action sequences. They are epic! How can I describe them? It's impossible. All the water, fire, electricity, earth fighting, fucking everything goes, and you'll be placing bets on who lives and who dies, because it's awesomely random and tastefully done. The planeteers themselves would get on their knees and orally service these characters with how much they put them to shame. Our main character, Kamoy, kicked ass and didn't care whose it was at the beginning of the series. He went in, beat you within an inch of your life, and left with no explanation. True, he really mellowed out, but that just made him more awesome. I don't care what other people say. Sometimes your emo hero has to grow up and stop being a douche. Cloud. And like I said, we have a huge amount of old school archetypes that were usually main characters. Each one has their own side plot that makes the series seem very real. Well, real if people were actually able to create fire, control wind, and so on. You get into it all. And let me tell you that there will be no way to sleep soundly at night until you have seen the end of the series. The animation is beautiful and simple. It's not jaw-dropping, but it damn well looks pretty. And the fight scenes are incredible drawings to behold. There are a few plot twists, I suppose, but in reality it's pretty straightforward and that's not a bad thing. It's not trying to confuse us or be overly pretentious. It's here to entertain you, so let it. X was innovative for the time and in my opinion is still really good now. Not many people see it as a classic, but it definitely falls under it in my book. The music was good too. It didn't floor me, but it hit the mood right and wasn't generic and invisible. You get the feeling that every element met together to tell this story. It was a huge left turn for Clamp at the time. Its plot is much darker than anything else they became famous for. Remember, this was their card captor Sakura days, long before the days of XXXHolic. Some people have problems with the ending, but I really don't. It gave me plenty of closure, and I didn't feel like I had wasted my time watching the show to that point. Which a lot of animes nowadays make me feel. I can't help but hump this anime, and it's an easy 5 out of 5. Now go out and watch it. Now. Go on! I'm waiting!